This fascination with water came out of my experiences walking up the Porter Valley, which is near where I live, and looking at the water surfaces so intently, and the way that I actually was conscious of seeing it was because I, I was taking photographs with my iPhone, and, you know, that stills the moving water. If you look at what we've taken, the patterns are absolutely incredible. And that was a kind of quite an intense moment of seeing this incredible um, pattern, incredible energy that was sort of in, in the universe. And it, it was like an imprint. It kind of imprinted itself onto me. I'm Alison Churchill. I'm an artist based in Exchange Place Studios in Sheffield. So I was born in West Horsley near Guildford in Surrey. When it came to coming to university, I chose to come to Sheffield. I didn't study art, I studied English literature. Then I did a teaching English as a foreign language course, which took me to Japan. And then I worked for the Open College of the Arts. So that's where um, the, the art kind of came in. I have been inspired in the past by rock. So that kind of sculptural form has interested me in the past, but now it's, it seems to be the water. It seems to be energy and that kind of changing nature. There's something about blue that's very attractive. Um, if it was brown, which is more realistic, it, I don't think it would do the same thing. This has got kind of a slight distance to it. It's not literal trying to paint the water because you can't. I, I haven't got the skills to do it. So it's partly the movement of the water and it's partly the Japanese calligraphy, you know, you can see that there's a connection. Obviously the interaction of the light and the air and the wind on the water as well that's all coming together to make that dazzling display. You've got, say, a river moving through the land, you've got the static mass of the land and you've got this flow of the river going through it. And there's something that always catches my eye when I see that. There's something rather miraculous about the fact that hydrogen and oxygen, two gases, come together and make this thing that's completely different, completely novel um, thing, which is water. I went through a process of failing to be able to represent the water patterns and then decided to let the water make its own shape. At that stage I was I was kind of chucking water and letting it make its own shape. So on paper it makes, because paper's absorbent, it captures the moment the water lands and it's very dramatic. Japanese written language is also part of my visual language. When I've finished making the watermarks, when that's kind of come to a possible completion, then I take a pencil and I make marks. But it's like these marks kind of make it more coherent and they're like water um, patterns or ripples or movements, currents, but also it's like things that go on in water, you know, you get water life, you get 
things darting here and there. Um, so it's a bit of that feel that the water is um, alive and there's life in it 